Hi, I am Kevin. In this video, I want to give a big shout out to the AWS support team for refunding $112.92 back to my credit card. So, they refunded $112.92 back to my card and uh, you want to know the reason why they did so, why they refunded this amount back to my card. And uh, I will show you the reasons why they refunded this amount to my card and uh, getting started before I give you the reasons, I want to show you the proof that they did so. So I am right here in my AWS console billing dashboard, as you can see here. So the every month, the way it works is that uh, every month I pay between nine dollars to eleven dollars as a bill for using their resources for using AWS resources. So as you can see here, this is the invoice. As you can see here invoice ID. This is the invoice. I pay every month to use their resources and uh, as you can see here scrolling to this corner as you can see here they refunded my bills from October because I started using their services from October of uh, 2019 to this 2020 I've been paying every single month from $9 to $11 for using the resources because uh, I for those of you that don't know AWS is a platform where you can host uh, your virtual machines your Windows servers your WordPress sites and other things you can host there so in, in my case I hosted my virtual machines my my Windows server in the in the platform so I created two instances two instance EC2 instance in their platform and uh, I've been using, I created two. So for that, I will be charged every single month for using their resource. And uh, the reason they getting started now, the reason they afforded this amount back to my card is because as a new user of uh, AWS, as a new user in AWS, you will need to create an account, which is a, which will be under free tire, free tire account. And uh, any new member, will be in the free tire which is uh, your first 12 months and in my case I started using uh, the AWS I created my account in uh, October of 2019 to this uh, 2020 so the period the 12 month period haven't been over and uh, I started being charged from the very first month which is October and I am not supposed to be charged because I am under free tire which everything I'm going to use will be uh, will be under free tire resources. And in my case, I started being charged from the first uh, uh, month, which is October of 2019, to this 2020. As you can see the bills here. These are the bills. Several months, I've been paying between $9 to $11. As you can see, uh, as you can see the invoices. This is what I've been paying every single month. Every when the month ends, they will send me invoice, and uh, I need to pay it. So this is the proof of the refund that I got from the AWS uh, support team after they have reviewed my account and understand that my account is still under free tire. That I'm using the the free that uh, all the resources that I'm using is under free tire. That I, I'm not supposed to be charged, and this charge is an uh, unexpected charge. So. They refunded this, and uh, as you can see here in the transaction, as you can see here transaction. So starting from uh, October of 2019 to July of uh, 2020, they refunded all the bills which are paid between uh, these months. So as you can see here, refund, refund, refund. So this shows that uh, they refunded all the amounts instead of uh, being uh, display charge. I, they process this as a refund and they went as good to this uh, right hand side as you can see here starting from uh, uh, between those months I got all the refunds so as you can see here this shows that uh, they refunded this amount back to the credit card I used to pay all these uh, server bills so I will now tell you the reason why they refunded that amount back to my card so in September of uh, this uh, 2020 which was last month I recently received an invoices as uh, usual as I received in under other months. So the invoice was a uh, thirty-three dollar 
$2.97, cents, which usually they charge me between $9 to $11 every single month. But this one, which is uh, I got earlier September of uh, this 2020, was uh, $33.97. Cents. And I say uh, I will reach out to the AWS support uh, team to understand why this happened. And uh, I went to my AWS support dashboard and created the case. And after I I have got a reply with uh, from the AWS uh, support team, which is uh, this. I asked them what why those things happen to my why did I get the charge abuse of a uh, thirty-three point nine seven cents in my account, and they told me to wait for a moment. So after I have waited, they reviewed my AWS account and uh, give me a feedback. As you can see here, this is this is uh, and Diana from a your AWS billing accounts supporting. It's my pleasure to continue assisting you. So they reviewed my account as you can see here. Thank you for your patience while we reviewed your case. After a detailed review, I am pleased to inform you that we have we have approved a billing ad adjustment of a $112.92 for charges on your bills from October 2019 to July 2020, which has been applied as a refund to your credit card. Please note that the refund processing time will depend on your payment method type and can vary according to your financial institution. So they reviewed my account because I told them that uh, I got a charge of uh, I got a, an invoice of a uh, thirty three dollar point nine cents. They reviewed it and also refunded the uh, the previous invoices which have been paying every single month. And the the reason why they did this is because uh, my account is under free tire, so I am not supposed to be charged any amount. So after they have uh, refunded this amount to my card, they told me to 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 they give me some steps that I, I I will follow so that I will not be charged unexpectedly without uh, without being in a, in an in a account which I am supposed to be charged. So as you can see here, reading further, also we have approved a, a, a billing adjustment of uh, thirty-three dollar point nine seven USD for charges on your August bill, and uh, the thirty dollar point nine seven cents which I got earlier this September was a bill for my August because they usually charge me a, a, earlier of next month. They charge me the, the bill of uh, last month earlier next month, so they charge me the did the billing adjustment of a $33.97 which they told me that I am not going to be charged anymore for, for that and uh, they told me that this uh, $112.92 will be refunded back to my to my cards within some days so I I panicked small because uh, the card which I used to make all these payments was a virtual card and uh, I have deleted the card after I have um, made uh, because I have two cards in my AWS account and the first one which I used to make several payments I have deleted it from my card issuing uh, bank so and the AWS support team told me that they will refund this amount $112.92 back to the card I used to make all these payments so I panicked because uh, uh, because because when they told me that they will fund this it's a it, that this is not a, a live chat I am not with them when they say this so when I reached back to them to tell them that the card has been deleted from my card issuing bank and they told me to no panic that this that the, the card is still allocated in my account that I should reach out to my bank to my card issuing bank and explain to them so that they trace the transactions and uh, eventually because the first card which i deleted and i used it to make several payments was visa card and also used mastercard the mastercard which is currently linked in my uh, aws account now so i reached out to my bank within 
uh, within 24 hours or two days so and explain to them and they taste the transaction so they taste the, the transaction and they eventually saw it let me show you the proof the proof now i in my car statement i screenshot that area as you can see here uh, they they taste the transaction and they can be able to take that amount and use that amount and funnel it to my another card another virtual card that amount which the one they, are, they saw first is a 101 dollar per chair that's eight cents as you can see here as you can see let me so this is it wait 101 dollar point at eight cents this is it so this is my car statement as you can see i screenshotted it when i uh, check my car statements as you can see i screenshotted this to show you in this video so i got this amount and uh, this one that one dollar point at eight cents is not up to is not up to the amount they told me that they will fund which is a uh, $112.92 so I also take I went ahead and take my second uh, card and I can be able to see within five uh, business days I take my card and I have seen an, another payment uh, that I another refund that I got there which is a uh, totaling 11 point the, like the total I received in my second card is a eleven dollar point fifty four cents. This is it, as you can see here, and uh, as you can see here also, Amazon Web Services, Amazon Web Services. So I received eleven point fifty two, eleven point fifty, eleven dollar point fifty four cents. So. When you add them together, let's go on Google and add 11 point, uh, 1 dollar 1, the first one, 1 dollar 1 1.38 dollar. Let's add it together to see 101, 1 dollar 1, 1, 1. Okay, as you can see here, 1 dollar 1 1.38 plus the 11.54. When you add them together, you will see that it reached $112.92 as you can see it here $112.92 so this is the total amount I received uh, as a refund from my AWS from my, my from AWS support so this means they afforded this amount because uh, my account is under free tire so the purpose of making the video is uh, to show you also if you have any issue being charged in the being charged in, under the AWS free tire account, you can reach out to them and explain your situation to them, and they can be able to help you. And also, the reason they reforded, uh, the reason the reason they to, they told me that this uh, thirty-three point, uh, as you can see here. Uh, that my August billing had been adjusted, which is a uh, which they supposed to charge me thirty three dollar point nine six cents. The reason why it, it increased from nine dollar to between nine to eleven dollar to this amount thirty three point nine seven is because they also, they told me that they reviewed my account and uh, they can be able to see that I used one of their resource, which is. Which is not which is outside their free tire resource, and the resource is a uh, uh, the t t a dot uh, x large. That is the instant type I created, and uh, the one that is covered by free tire is a t two dot micro instance ec two. So and I use the uh, other one which is uh, outside the free tire resource. So that's is one of the reasons they told me that uh, I am supposed to be charged, but uh, they helped me and did the billing adjustment, and uh, I 
wasn't being charged again for it. So I got all these uh, billing adjustments when I have contacted them and reached out to them and uh, explained my situation to them. So now, thank you for watching this video. I am I remain Kevin Obina from NetWater.com. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, to my YouTube channel, for more videos that will help you that, that will help you in uh, in the future. So thank you for watching the video and have a nice day ahead. I hope you found this video helpful. So make sure you give it a like and uh, thank you for watching. And have a nice day ahead.